Yo YouTube, welcome to my first FIFA 18 video. I made this channel specially for FIFA 18. The 17 videos were just to get practicing, get used to recording, get used to editing, do the, all the mistakes I had to do, like the ones with the mic. FIFA 18 is not out yet, obviously. The demo just came out today, it's downloading. I'm about to play it live. But before, I'm going to tell you about this squad. In the beginning of FIFA, you need to buy a cheap squad so you can save your coins and buy an amazing team later so don't rush it save your money invest and just have fun for a bit of time with a weaker team but just because you don't have to spend a lot of money in the team doesn't mean it has to be a bad team if you go premier league everyone will be expensive of course the same with bundesliga la liga Serie A. but then the other leagues like the portuguese the mls the dutch league the turkish league even the russian league and if a player here in one of those leagues costs, say, two, 2,000 coins, it would be better than a player you buy from the Premier League for 2,000 coins because the price is inflated, you want to buy cheap, you want to buy OP player. And believe me when I tell you this, Liga Nos will be the best cheap OP league this year. We have amazing new players, we kept the, the good ones from last year. So when I build this squad, it's honestly, I think it's the best squad we ever had for Liga Nos, you know, non inform wise. So let's talk about it. In goal, we have Rui Patricio, he's a legend for Portugal. We won the Euros because of him. He's a legend for sporting my club, he has been the main keeper for 10 years, maybe. I remember when he was 18 on his debut, he saved the penalty. I don't think he will ever leave. He will be like our Totti, he's a club legend. He's rated 83, there's a downgrade. He started as an 84 last year. Casillas from Porto is also 83, so if you prefer him or it's better for your hybrid, go for it. Last year I tried both Patricio and Casillas and I really preferred, maybe I'm biased, so by, by all means, go with Casillas if you prefer. For the left back, it's a really tough choice between two players. Grimaldo from Benfica and Alex Teles from... I decided to go with Grimaldo purely because he's quicker. He had a huge upgrade from last year, he was 77, he's 80 this year. He's a great player, but he was injured a lot, so I don't understand the upgrade. But fuck it, I'll take it. Let's have him in your team. He's 80 rated, quick as hell, should be good. Alex Teles is a bit slower, but he's also much taller, so it's also a good choice. For the center back, we have this superstar from Barcelona, which just joined Sporting, Mathieu. He's French, so he's great for hybrids in the future. He's really old, he's like 34 years old, but EA preserved his pace. It's still pretty high for a center back. And he's, he's really big, he's strong, he's, he's perfect to have it in your team, he's everything. I think he's the best fullback in the league, and judging by his real life performances, he's, he's doing a great. So hopefully, he'll get an inform and we can get him. And the other center back, in my opinion, in real life, is the best center back in the league. Is Felipe from Porto, he's Brazilian. He's almost as quick as Matteo, but he's also big and strong. He's 82 rated, he's the highest in the league. I'm sure he will be good. Last year, I loved this team of the season. Ricardo Pereira, he was on the team of the season of the French league last year. But he was on a loan from Porto, everybody wanted him, I think Tottenham wanted him. Porto managed to keep him. There's just no other good centre-backs at all in the league, so for his sub you better get another left-back. Then we have Danilo Pereira from Porto as well, this guy is a tank, look at his physical stats and his defending. He's also not too slow, he's, he's tall, his downside is his stamina. I had his team of the season as well last year. I had to sub him all the time, so I just got rid of him. On the other side, we have, he's kind of identical, but slower, William Carvalho from Sporting. I had him on my starter team last year when he was 84. He was great, he bullied everyone off the ball. You couldn't really feel that he's 50 odd pace. But yeah, he can be a little slow, you're warned. There's really no better defensive center mid. There's Fersa from Benfica, but he's also slow as hell and he's a bit smaller, so Go with William. And in our midfield position, the cam is busy from Benfica. This guy is great, believe me, he's the little Messi of our league, at least in FIFA, not so much in real life. He's really good in real life, don't get me wrong, but he's better in FIFA. I had his inform last year, man, he was by far the best player on my team, and I had pretty good guys in my team as well, like 
SBC join us. PZ has a cam, scored a lot of goals for me, he can just run really quick, he can dribble, he can shoot well, he can pass well. He's a bit small, but so is Messi, you know, if Messi can do it, so can PZ. And now for the attack. For me, this guy is the best player in the league, not only in real life, but also in FIFA. He's quick as well, he can dribble, I don't know if he will have 5 star skills, but I think he, he deserves it, I wouldn't be surprised. In real life, Real Madrid wants to sign him, Barcelona, Dortmund, this is for sure his last year at Sporting. I'm surprised that when Barcelona bought Dembele from Dortmund, they didn't get, they didn't get Gelson as a replacement, I was really expecting that transfer, but I'm happy he stayed because we can use him in our squad, and you know, good for Sporting. He's only 81, it's it's an upgrade, he started as a 78 last year, he went to an 80, I think he should be an 82, but his stats look amazing already. I can't wait for his first inform because believe me, he will get one, he just scored in real life against Olympiacos for the Champions League. And on the left side, it's another player from Sporting, this card, I expect great things from it, I haven't seen the final official version of it yet, this is like my own. I know it's a one to watch, but it will probably won't be, but if there's a one to watch card in our league, this has to be it and I'll tell you why. First of all, see this, first of all, look at his FIFA 17 cards, what a season he had. He had an upgrade, he had two informs and he was the team of the season. Not only that, but officially it was announced as the player of the year in the Argentinian league. And with all the talent from Boca Juniors, from River Plate, from all those big clubs, this guy from Racing or Racing or however you say the, that club, he actually won the award. I'm surprised we bought him. He's not super young, he's like 24 years old, but he's a beast. Man, this guy can run and he's strong as well. It's like a pit bull. After all the cards in FIFA 17, I expect at least a 79 for him. I wouldn't be surprised if he got more. Those are my predictions. And when you see this, the official card is out yet and you can check it out. I couldn't at this time. This is my prediction and I think this is the minimum he will be. He's not as fast as Jelson, but I'm expecting a bit physic from him. He's a pit bull, as I said. It will be a very fun card. On here I used to use Brahimi from Porto, 4 or 5 star skiller. He's really good as well if you don't want to go for this guy or he's not as good as I'm predicting him to be. Rahimi is officially an 82, it's a downgrade from last year but he should, he should still be class. And as a striker, I think he will be the star of this team, he's a FIFA legend, you heard of him many times. I'm sure you scored with him, I'm really 100% sure he scored against you. He's Seydou Dumbia. Our new signing as well from AS Roma. Last year he was kinda lost in the Swiss League so no one used him. I packed his foot birthday card and he was a great sub, super sub. I remember on his first game I got 3 goals. Although he is getting a bit older, he's still quick as hell and FIFA managed to keep him on 90 pace. Which is great. I can't remember uh, a year where we had a striker this good. FIFA-wise, not real life, we had Jonas, we have Bas Dost, we had amazing strikers in the league, Islam Slimani. But in FIFA, this has to be the best card, the best striker card I have ever seen in Liga Nos. So I'm definitely starting him. But if he wasn't here, there will be Tiquinho Suarez from Porto. This guy is quick as hell, look at his strength, he's really strong. He's the perfect sub for Dumbia, so get him. Or if you, if Dumbia turns out to be too expensive, he's also really good. Here's the second best team of Liga Nos. You can either get all of this team and use it as a fitness team, or, or you can have one player per position in the bench, and you rotate him. So you'll have three center backs and one guy will be on the bench. You'll have two strikers, maybe around five midfielders. Anyway, you get my, you get the gist. So guys, this is the end of the video. Tell me if you like this team or not. If you use it, please send me a picture of it. If you manage to score some cool goals with Dumbia or Jelson or Akuna or Pizzi, just send them to me. I might show them on the channel. And you might get a shout out as a great subscriber. Tell me down below in the comments if you agree with this team or not, if you like it. If you did like the video, please hit the like button, it means the world to me. If you haven't subscribed, please do and welcome to the family, welcome to the squad Fonzo FC. 
yeah that's all for now so thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye